Oh, hi. So today I figured I'd bring you guys a phenomenal educational bonding experience. Hence the glasses, science, math, oceanography. Also, I wanted to test out this clip on microphone because I'm going to probably use it this week for some vlogging action, you know? So please comment and let me know if this one is trash. I'll try to find a new one. So my number one question I get in the DMs are, how do I increase my kick drum speed? Well, I don't know, but I can show you how I did it and maybe it'll help you. If not, I'm... Sorry. We're all different and we all develop very differently from one another. And believe it or not, I was actually classically trained in the early stages of my drumming journey. But I always took a lot of these really small gigs playing in these crappy clubs that I was way too young to be playing in. Playing drum set and bands with guys who were way older than me. And now that I think about it, they never paid me. I guess they figured he's young. He don't got no bills to pay. But I remember one particular instance from one of these gigs that I volunteered for where the tune called for a very fast groove. Well, if I'm being honest, the music didn't call for a very fast groove. I kind of counted it off way too fast. But I mean, I, 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 so we get to play in this really fast tune and because of the crowd, the adrenaline, the rush of playing on stage, I wasn't thinking of what I was playing up here. I was thinking of, of making it through the tune. Then boom, all of a sudden, I realized I'm playing things that I never played before, right? I'm playing fast. I'm, I, my mom's in the audience. I'm like, mom, holy sh get, get the camera out. I'm gonna post it to MySpace. And then I mess up really badly, but that's not the point. The point was getting out of my head and just playing the damn thing fast. But how the crap do you practice that? Specifically when it comes to kick drum speed. Well, check this out. I remember practicing this groove that was totally inspired by a Tony Royster DVD I believe I bought in like 07, 08. I will put that link and timestamp of that exact drum solo I'm talking about so you can check it out for yourself. This little exercise was undoubtedly the number one thing that increased my kick drum speed. Because after I solidified that little groove I was going for that I started to move my hands around the kit and because of my brain is so small, I start freaking out. I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, what's going on up here? I totally forget what's happening with my foot and my foot's going on autopilot. So we move from this to this. I will have the notation up on the screen. You can download it in the description box for free, just in case you figure it out better by reading it. Let's start alternating the toms. It's like, whoa, dude, whoa. What is this melody I'm playing on the tops? My foot's on autopilot at this point. I'm not thinking about my foot anymore. And what do you think happens when you gradually increase the tempo? The exercise itself on the kick drum is already kind of a chop buster. But when you add the hands, you know, you get this weird mind foot thing happening. I would like to put into better words, but you know, I'm a YouTuber. Make yourself as uncomfortable as you can up here so that you're not even thinking about what's going on down here. But hey, that's just something that's helped me. It may not even help you at all, but if it does help at least one person, then I'm happy. All right, seriously. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little short lesson style video. If you want to go more in depth on these things, or maybe just you want some more educational drumming content, then consider clicking the Drumio Edge link in the description box down below where you can get a free 30 day trial of Drumio Edge. I'm telling you, bro, it's like, it's like Netflix for drums. Just do it, do it, grow up. Okay, love you. Oh wait, I forgot to tell you something. Oh!